Encouragement for 2020. Happy New Year, my dear brothers and sisters, my dear friends. Let me leave you with wonderful Bible verses of encouragement for 2020. I see God doing new things for the new year. For Isaiah 43, 19 says, Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall ye not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Indeed, hallelujah. I see God doing a new thing, wonderful things that we do not know. It's going to be revealed to us. He's going to do new and wonderful things for our loved ones being saved. Many who are not saved will come to salvation. I see a big new move of the Holy Spirit, a revival in 2020. Many, many will be saved. Your loved ones, even your enemies that you've been praying for, that we've been praying for, will come to salvation. God will give them a new heart. He will take away the heart of stone and give them a heart of flesh. They'll be so softened by God in this new year. Many, 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 many will run to Jesus Christ for salvation. Hallelujah. Besides salvation in your life, He is going to be creating rivers even in the desert. He is going to make a way even in the wilderness. He is going to make a way even for the wilderness for you. If you are in the wilderness, if you are suffering from illnesses, if you have financial troubles, anything, God will open up the way for you. If you are trying to find the right one, God will lead you to the right one. God is doing something new in 2020. He's going to bless you, bless me, beyond our expectations. I'm not talking about prosperity gospel. I'm saying God wants to bless you. He wants to bless me. He knows what's good for you and me. We know that all things will work together for good for those who love him, the ones who love God. Indeed, he has planned many wonderful, wonderful things for you and wonderful things for me this year. You know the verse that says, No eye has seen, nor ears heard, nor entered into the mind of man the things God has prepared for those who love him. That is for heaven, but not only that, is for earth as well. I'm not talking about getting filthy rich. I'm talking about the wonderful blessings God will bless you and me with. I see that all the time. It's beyond my expectations. Sometimes I'm expecting this blessing. God blesses me in a different way. More amazing than I ever imagined. I'm expecting more of that in 2020. We are continuing to pray big, guys, and expect big. We have a big God, and He wants the best for you. He has a lot of plans for you. Plans for welfare and not to harm you, so that you will have a future and a hope. That's amazing. He's going to open up doors for you, whether it be financial blessings, if you are looking for a job, if you are looking for a better job, if you are trying to find the right person to marry, you're going to find the right person. There are so many things in store for you and me this year. Most importantly, there's going to be a huge revival Great awakening where many people will be able to see Jesus Christ. They're going to be able to come to Jesus Christ for their salvation. I see that starting to happen already. And also personal revivals. Many, many believers who are now cold or lukewarm will be on fire for the Lord. Hallelujah. Time is short, of course. Our Lord can be coming back at any time, descending from heaven and taking us home. Before that, I know there is still a wonderful chance, a wonderful window that many, many, many will still come to Jesus Christ. Indeed, He is patient. He is patient with us. He does not want any to perish, but all to come to repentance. And He wills that all to be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth. 
So be about our Father's business, guys. Keep sharing the gospel with everybody so that all could be saved, the true gospel. I see the power of the true gospel working already in these last few months, and I've seen it grow stronger and stronger. God working all through, through all of us to help people, to help lead people to salvation. Now, the next beautiful Bible verse for 2020 is Isaiah 40, 29 to 31. It's a great encouragement. He giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might, he increases strength. If you are faint today, if you feel faint, he will give you power. He will give you power. Even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Hallelujah. We shall mount up with wings as eagles. We shall walk but not faint. We shall run but not grow weary. Are you weary? Wait upon the Lord this new year. He is going to strengthen you. He is going to uphold you with his mighty right hand. You will not grow weary this year. With the power of God, he will energize you. He will energize you. You are not going to be weary anymore. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I know this year we are going to soar in the air. We're going to soar in the air. Maybe going up in a rapture or soar with joy in our hearts as we go through this life, this difficult life, with joy in our faces. God will strengthen us who are faint. God is near to the brokenhearted. Now the next verse is very beautiful as well. Lamentations 3, 22 to 24. It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed. Hallelujah. Because His compassion faileth not. This year, remember, His compassion does not fail. They are new every morning. Amen. This new year, His compassion is new. In fact, every day when we wake up, His compassion is new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. The Lord is my portion. Save my soul. Therefore, will I hope in him. Put your hope completely in Jesus. The next verse is 1 Peter 1, 3-6. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, which according to his abundant mercy has begotten us again unto a lively hope by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. Indeed, Jesus Christ has conquered death. He saved us through his work on the cross to die for all our sins. We cannot be saved. We cannot go to heaven because we all have sinned and fall short and come short of God's glory, God's standard of perfection. Because of that, we were destined to go to hell. But the moment that we believe on Jesus Christ, that he died for us for all our sins, putting on himself all the sins and the punishment that are meant for us on himself. And he died, was buried, and rose again on the third day. Hallelujah. He has risen and he has risen indeed. Believe, believe on Jesus Christ and him alone that he saved you by dying on the cross for you. God himself, who created the universe, put on flesh, and he died for us on the cross. He was willing to do that for you. Wow, how great a love that is. Amen. If you have not believed yet on Jesus Christ, believe on him today. Believe on him. 2020 will be a wonderful year because you are now in the family of God. Yes, when you put your trust on him, the moment that you believe, you are saved. Call unto him now. Lord, say, Lord, Lord, I am in the family of God. I believe what you did for me on the cross. You are my Lord and I believe, I believe that you died for my sins and you rose on the third day. 
according to the scriptures. Hallelujah. Because of that, the next word is inheritance. For 2020, the word is inheritance. God gave us an inheritance in heaven. God has an incorruptible inheritance for you and for me, for all who are in the family of God. And he keeps you saved. His power keeps you saved until the very end. We are saved not because we are worthy, but because God is worthy. We receive the righteousness of Jesus Christ. Only Jesus Christ is worthy. Hallelujah. To an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled, and that fadeth not away, reserved in heaven for you. Remember, you have an inheritance reserved in heaven for you. Who are kept, okay? We are kept, he says, for you who are kept by the power of God through faith unto salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time. Wow. We are kept by the power of God. We are not kept by ourselves. Know that when you believe on Jesus Christ, he saved you completely and utterly, and it has nothing to do with you or me. It has all to do with Jesus Christ. That's a true gospel. We are saved by grace through faith, and that not of ourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Hallelujah. So wonderful, right? It's a free gift of God. It's a free gift of God. So it's nothing to do with us. And because of that, our salvation, ourselves, our souls, we are kept by the power of God through faith unto salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time. Hallelujah. Know that in 2020, if you are sons and daughters of the living God, you will be richly blessed. And that continue to do the work that is in the Lord. For we are saved. And when we are saved, we are God's workmanship, created for good works that God has prepared for us to do so that we should walk in them. Wow, God has prepared many, many wonderful things for you to do, for me to do. Let's take part in God's work that he has planned for us. Partner with him, partner with him. Let's get more people to heaven. We are already blessed and have this treasure. Tell the world, shelf on the rooftops, Jesus is king. He is coming back. Hallelujah. <laughs> Wow, looking at the whole picture, I see God working in wondrous new ways in this new year. New ways that you and I don't even expect. Working in ways way beyond our imaginations. He's gonna do wonderful things. Many, many people are gonna come to salvation. Many that we are saddened by, our loved ones, who are not saved, will be saved. There are so many people who are going to be revived in their heart, going to be so on fire for the Lord. We're going to be blessed in amazing new ways. I think the key word is new. God is doing a new things in all varieties of ways in all areas of our lives, whether it be financial, physical, or even mental. Many people are going to be free from bondage to addiction, alcohol, drugs, pornography, many, many things. They're going to be free from legalism, from, from living in fear. God is going to set them free. I see that many people are going to share the true gospel in new and interesting ways. That is not conventional, but it's going to be very effective. I see God strengthening those who are weak, opening new ways in a desert, and creating rivers in a desert. In a desert that we live now, there are going to be rivers of living water. Many are going to come, and they are free to drink from it. Amazing. I see wonderful, wonderful. I see wonderful, wonderful things happening in 2020. 
And I see God's mercies extend to more and more people as they come to the Lord Jesus, as it says in Lamentations. Every morning, we are going to have new mercies. Every morning, God's compassion is new. Every morning, there are going to be so many who are coming to be saved before the Lord comes and take us all home. Amen. And another thing, the inheritance we are waiting for to receive, we will receive it soon. We are going to be caught up soon to meet our Lord in the air. And, and then so shall we ever be with the Lord. Therefore, comfort one another with these words. Hallelujah. A great reunion in heaven is going to be happening soon. Those who are dead in Christ will rise first. And those who are alive and remain will be caught up right after them to meet our Lord in the air. Great reunion, strengthening, new and interesting ways that God is working in this world. Amazing things is going to happen. Expect amazing things. God is going to work wonderful things in your lives. You'll see. He's working in every part of our lives. God bless you. <clears throat> Have a very blessed 2020, dear brothers and sisters. Adios. I love you.